When the Kiriki front end for the Miu Mini came out in early December, I thought it was a breath of fresh air for the Miu Mini. It used RetroArch for its emulation, just like Onion does, but it brought the bright, fun and colourful front end of Simple Menu to the Miu Mini. And it's a front end that has worked well for a number of other systems. The problem is that apart from a minor fix to get it working with the version 3 Miu Minis, there's been no real updates since that first 1.0 release. Well, until now anyway. The R Paradise team have just released version 1.1 of Kariki. It's not a massive release in terms of new features, but it is a significant one. So in this video, we'll take a look at what it offers. And if you haven't seen my original video on Kariki and how it differs from Onion and other Miu Mini front ends, then I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But first things first, where can you get it? It's available on GitHub, and again, I'll leave a link in the description below. In the download area for version 1.1, there only seems to be a download for a patch to upgrade from 1.0 to 1.1. I've had a good look for a fresh install of 1.1, but I couldn't find one. So if you want to do a fresh install, then at the moment it looks like doing a 1.0 install and then applying the patch is probably your best way to do this. I've got a couple of Miu Minis running Kariki, so I'll update one of them and we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the old with the new. The update is very straightforward and I'll start by downloading the patch and all that is needed is to copy it straight to the Kariki card and then safely eject the card. Pop it into the Miu Mini, power it on and you'll see the patch being applied, as well as the version number changing from 1.0 to 1.1. With a new system on the white Miu Mini and the old 1.0 version on the beige version, you can see the difference in the version numbers. Ignore the box R, I did a bit of scraping on one system and not the other, but what I want to show you here is that under Kariki 1.1, we now have a default overlay. And there are default overlays for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Gear, and Neo Geo Pocket. Another welcome change in this release is the ability to toggle scaling. This is done in RetroArch by going to Settings, Input, Hot Keys, then Full Screen Toggle, and setting the key you'd like to use for the toggle. I'm going to use the Y key, which is by default it's set to reset, and I honestly can't ever see myself using that, so I might as well reassign it to toggle the scaling options. Along with changing the version of RetroArch from 1.10.3 to what is currently the most up-to-date version, 1.14, the only other change of note in this release is to set screen colour options to recommended settings on first boot. So, there might not be a ton of updates in this release, but there are certainly very welcome changes. And it's certainly good to see that the project is being updated. I'm looking forward to see what else future updates will bring. If you haven't tried it yet, then I highly recommend giving Kariki a try. And if you found this video useful, then a like would be very much appreciated.